Gran Turismo 7 update 1.42. This is a $5,000 DLC is here. And here are the notes. There are some surprising things in here that people are really going to enjoy. I mean it. There's some things they finally fixed in the game, it seems. And they've added and focused on. But we're going to start here with the main thing. You know this already because you're subscribed to this channel. So we've got the two VGTs and the Jimny. And here it is. Those who purchased the Bulvagari alum al Aluminium. Aluminium. Gran Turismo Limited Model Chronograph Watch. What does Chrono... What watch not Chronograph and register via this QR code will receive this car as a free gift early prior to the official release. The car will be available for regular purchase from Brand Central in late February. Now it's late January right now, so that seems to me that it's going to be a month of exclusivity. So I've seen some people saying, oh, it's not really a $5,000 DLC. No, no, you need to buy the watch if you want to buy this car. Otherwise, you've got to wait a whole month. It's a genuine month. You have to wait. I also find it quite interesting that they've done it this way where you get a QR code because if they had done this as like a 5,000 microtransaction in the game on PSN, it would have got like insanely negative press. Like this has been covered really widely. So the fact you do it outside and get a QR code is a way of avoiding that. So interesting to see. What else do we have? World Circuits. The following new events being added. The Gym Knee Cup. Here we go. So we've got Sardegna, Willow Springs, Lake Louise. So we've got a dirt track. We've got Willow Springs and we've got a ice track. I'm actually going to do that. That sounds like a lot of fun. So I'm going to make a video on that. Make sure that you check that out because we're going to really test the Gym Knee. We'll probably do it in VR. We've got the VGT Trophy at Monza and Tokyo Expressway. So we've got some new events. Never, never going to say no to new events, by the way. I think that's a great thing to do in the game because the platform is so good. Brand Central, new museum entries added for Genesis and Pagani. So how many people are going to read, that, read those? I do not know. Cafe, following menu books. Again, I'm never going to say no to menu books. And we've got these ones. We've got the Jimny Cup. Um, so what else are you going to need to connect in addition to the Jimny? <laughs> Is that going to be a one-car menu cup? I oh, know it's going to be you're going to need to win the Jimny Cup. So if you win the Jimny Cup... You're going to complete that menu book and let's hope the prize is going to be a big one. I will show you actually what the prize is going to be in this video. And I'm going to actually try and show you one of the VGT cars I may already have. Is it the Budvagari? Have I pre-ordered the watch? You have to wait and see. Right, here we go. Extra menu books as well for the Nissan one that does actually look quite cool. And Dodge as well, or Doge. Adding new sets of conversations with the car designers and characters appearing in the cafe. Um, these can be accessed by changing the following cars and garage and speaking with the Couch Cafe. They need to change this. No one is... People don't do this. So what I think they need to do is all that dialogue they're doing and conversations, they need to have that automatically play when you're buying the car in the game or when you're doing your first race in the car. So it'll just play something like the Crew Motorfest does that and it just means you actually hear them talking about the car in an organic way and uh, it can be quite cool. So I don't think a lot of people are going to listen to Ed Welburn, Fabio Filipp Filippini, Freeman Thomas, and Hideo Kodama, and it would be cool to understand more next time I am racing in my Toyota Prius G. What went wrong with Gran Turismo? Right, GT Auto. Oh, engine swaps. Here we go. We got some engine swaps. What we got? Let's see everything here. Right, Dodge Charger. Uh, Hemi, That's a that was a beastly engine, wasn't it? In 68, we've got the Ford Raptor pickup truck as well. Is that something coming out? Is that coming out or something coming into it? Something coming into that would be crazy. Civic, Jaguar XJ20, presumably XJ220. Presumably that's something coming out of that one. And then we've got the GR Supers and the Alphard Executive Lounge, everyone. We have the Executive Lounge. So can we put an absolutely obscene engine? A memeness incoming. Watch out. I'm going to see that. In fact, I'll try and show you in this video as well. Scapes. We've got service areas and turn the camera vertically. And we've got some uh, weekly challenge update. Change the display that is shown for the bonus menu. In event not be open. Okay, quite cool. Weekly challenges is one of the best quality of life features I think Gran Turismo have ever offered in GT Sport or Gran Turismo 7. So that's great. Physics simulation. Yes, they changed the physics. What is it? Well, it is this. Adjusted the stability of rival cars in wet conditions. Now, I do a lot of racing against AI cars in wet conditions in Gran Turismo 7. It's one of my most favorite things to do, do a lot in VR. And I've never noticed something really bad about it, but when I do it in ACC, you do see cars aquaplaning, 
and uh, spinning or spinning and saving it. You don't get that in Gran Turismo really. So maybe they've made it a bit more dynamic. So we will have to check that out. And multiplayer. Here we go. I, they've heard you, everyone. I've seen you in the comments about the ridiculous of split screen. If you bought the game, you want to play it with your son. And it turns out player one is just rapid and player two is like no assist or something. Hopefully they fixed it. They've been saying for a long time they're going to fix it. It's been in their known issues list. Fixed an issue where player one would be an advantage in a split screen race. So I appreciate them doing it. It's been a long time, but it looks like it's done now. GT auto correct some paint. Okay, great. And uh, continue support. Right, let's have a look here because this is the Genesis. And if you don't know, they distributed it via uh, things which I told you about at the time. So you, you've got to be following this channel, everyone, if you want to get these free things by BBS. I didn't even know it was by BBS. Now, did I do this? Let's have a look. Didn't I stream, co-stream one of these? So let's see. Moment of truth. I don't see that I have it, but I do have a special gift here. I do have a special gift. Is it going to be to redeem... I don't think I have it or it hasn't come. I don't think I have it or it hasn't come. Hang on, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. This brand central. Do I have a gift or something? Let me know in the comments if you definitely watch both and do you have it. I had thought that I did. So Genesis, here we go. Is it going to be an expensive mistake? Oh, I might have. And you see, I've got 51,000 credits. Let's have a look, by the way. At the where the hell is even the watch company? Where is it from? Bulvagari. Bul is it French? Bulvagari? Bulvagari, Bulvagari, where are you from? Where are you? Is it American? Is it Asian? Where is Bulvagari? Partners. Ha there are cars available with these new cars. Where does the Bulgari place exist? How do you even buy it? Where is it? Bugatti, FIA. I don't even know where you buy the Bulgari. It doesn't exist, does it? No, so it is an exclusive DLC. It doesn't even exist in the game. What a weird thing to put in your trailer. For goodness me. What a weird thing to do. Don't include it in this, this, uh, this video for this update then. It's making me angry. Right, um, so the, here's the thing about the, uh, just finally, the uncut change to the uh, things that are not completed. So maybe it gets notifications. Uh, looks pretty similar to me, but just want to show you anyway. I will need to do this because I have no money. So I'm going to go and get some money and make sure you check out the next video or even the one linked here, which is a lot of fun. And I will see you next time.